Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll learn about the Postgres split part function. Uh, before that, I want to share a small design tip and then eventually we'll learn about the use case for the split part function in Postgres. If you can see here, we have two tables. One is the employee table and the second table is a code table. Okay. We have three different employees and each employee has three different codes. Okay. Uh, each employee must have the three different codes. That's the requirement here. So that I have created a one to many relationship between the tables. Like in, in my case, Vishnu has 1, 2, 3 and his code. And Harsha has 3, 2, 32, 22, 11 and Satish has 10, 9, 8. Okay. And this will work perfectly fine. And even you can expand in future. Actually, if you need columns like code title and code description, you can just expand it. And if you need uh, the people who has one code, actually you can get that. You can write a simple join and then get those uh, results also. Okay. Which will work perfectly fine. But in my case, I don't need, I am pretty sure in future there won't be any extra columns like code title and code description. And I am also pretty sure there won't be any expandable information like this will be only three uh, records. Okay, one, two, three. There won't be any kind of four, five, something like that. Okay, every employee must have three codes. Okay, that's where instead of going with the joins, join is a heavy operation in the SQL instead of relying on the join. What I'm trying to do is I'm just showing all those information in the single table, employee ID, employee name and the codes table. Okay, if you can see fish for Vishnu, I'm using the comma separated values, one comma, two comma, three and the Harsha 33, 44, 55. Okay, and now I don't need to rely on the join. It's just like a small select statement. I can get the information that I required quotes. Okay, what I'm doing earlier is in my application, I can use a split function, something like that to split all this information to the a multiple row something like that but if you need in sql this kind of function okay that's where the split part function will come into the picture let's go to the sql editor i already created an employees table you can see there are three columns employee ID, employee ID name and the codes which is a comma separated value if you want to split this information into the multiple columns you can use a split part function uh, let's write the query employee name and then split part function which will take your columns first of all and then the separator in my case it is a comma if you have another like a colon or something like that, you can go with that uh, then the first value okay that means 1 33 and 9 okay and i also need the same thing for multiple second value and also i need the third value okay Now, if you can execute this query, you can see employee name and the split part one, split part two, split part three, one, two, three are all of them in a separate different columns. This is where you can use the split part functions and it's a good practice to store all the information in a single column. Actually, it's uh, as per the third normalization form, uh, it's a bad practice, but sometimes you can avoid the rules to get the performance improvement in your application. Okay, when you are pretty sure there won't be any extra information with related to those columns you can always go with this approach because it will give you the some performance benefit instead of relying on the joins okay avoid rules when you know okay thank you for watching bye bye